Hey, it's me, Martin, and yes, you've read the title correctly. This is the TicWatch 3 Pro, the first Wear OS smartwatch that is finally matching the competition. And in this video, I will tell you everything that you need to know. So, let's get started. This is the TicWatch 3 Pro, which is the very first smartwatch that contains the Snapdragon 4100, which is the leading factor behind all of it. But before we get to that, let's first get the unboxing very quickly out of the way. This is the box, then we have the quick start guide, a watch itself of course, the charger, paperwork, and that's pretty much it. Now, a link will be in the description if you want to pick one up yourself after watching this video. But first, let's start talking about the design and the build quality, because those two are my least favorite ones. Design is of course personal, but I find it a bit conservative and traditional with some looks when the smartwatch market became really booming. Now, that might be because of the build quality and materials used. It feels a bit plasticky and not so much premium compared to for example the Huawei Watch GT2 Pro which has the exact same suggested retail price. Other than that the buttons could be a little bit more tactile and it feels pretty okay around the wrist except for the straps which are a bit sweaty around the wrist. The display looks more than good, it's also bright and vibrant for a smartwatch and there's nothing really to complain about. With that out of the way, let's get to the part where probably most of you are interested in, the Snapdragon 4100. This processor was released last June and brings some big improvements compared to its predecessor, like a 64-bit architecture, baked on the 12 nanometer process, Bluetooth 5.0 and more Wi-Fi standards. This leads to the fact that the watch is so much smoother and faster in use, and the lag is also drastically minimized compared to its previous generation, except for the two buttons. That's the only place on this watch where there's still quite some input lag for both the top and the lower button. It's really easy to see all the big improvements because of the processor, even though the one gig of RAM stayed the same. Google Assistant is also on the TicWatch 3 Pro, finally at the place that using it is so much more smooth. Hey Google, smooth. what is the weather? There. Regarding the health tracking features, all of the sensors have been upgraded on the TicWatch Pro 3. Many of these sensor apps have been refreshed and new apps have been added, including two new sensors, a barometer and a blood oxygen saturation sensor. A new app for example is Tick Here, which warns you of overly loud external noises around you. It's not all perfect though, it clearly indicates on the watch when it's too loud around you, but within the app you can see the decibel range, but you don't see the bar graph itself. Also the sleep tracking feature could use some work, which is really easy to see on November 3rd. That night around 6.15 in the morning I had to go to the toilet, which wasn't registered as being awake. Also within the app you cannot touch or scroll the graph. Other than that, it's pretty much what you expect from a Wear OS watch. You can also, for example, easily change the watch face. And one of my favorite ones is the weather face. It displays with a nice animation the weather along with the time and temperature. So far, I've given you a very brief and quick rundown of what to expect of the watch in terms of design, the build quality, the user experience and the software. But there are two more things that I would like to discuss with you. First of all, the dual display and of course the battery. The film compensated super twisted nematic, also known as FSTN LCD display is reflective, transparent and this top layer screen also offers high visibility in sunlight and is super low in power consumption. The dual display 2.0 has received some style changes, a live seconds counter and a helpful backlight. I believe this is the biggest benefit of the watch and definitely a unique feature that stands out from the competition. I have this watch for more than two weeks now and I've been charging it many times 
and so far I can confirm that with the smart mode on that 3 days of battery life is quite easy to achieve. In the essential mode the watch should last up to 45 days which I am not able to confirm at the moment. Now whenever you're down to the last 5 up to 20% you can enable the essential mode which cuts down to only the basic needs on the display. Bottom line, with the new processor and many software updates, it's quite an easy recommendation if you're in for a new smartwatch, even if you own the current 2020 model. The TicWatch 3 Pro 2020 edition is a good watch. It has a solid battery life, the performance improved, and the dual display is definitely a unique feature. But there's always a bot. I have to say the software could use some tweaks here and there. All right, it's time to wrap up this video. In case you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you loved it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have a comment or question, drop them down below as I would love to help you out. Don't forget to share this video with your friends so that we can all hang out in the next video.